We're here with Salesian running back Javid Bass. Congratulations, Javid, on an excellent season this year and also for your commitment to Cal. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. So you had a, an outstanding junior season. You ran for over 1,500 yards, led your team, Salesian, to the North Coast Championship. Um, had you won the, the championship before here at Salesian? Had, had the team ever won? No, nah, not that I can remember. So that's great. That must have been uh, a real feeling of accomplishment leading yeah, the team in. So you had a great year. There were a lot of backs out there that had 1,500 plus yard seasons. Um, some backs that had won championships. Did you have any clue that you had it in you to be able to take it up to the level that you did this last year? Uh, I had no clue. My goal for the season was to get 2,000 yards. And that was something that me and co my coach talked about, me and my dad talked about it. And we thought it was a goal that we could reach. And then so we were shooting for that. And then we, <laughs> we went over it by a lot, so we were happy. Quite a bit. So you ended up with over 3,200 yards on the year. And uh, was it 44 or 48 touchdowns? I'm not too sure. 40. Coach, you know? 48 touchdowns. 48 touchdowns. Yeah. So you tied a North Coast uh, CIF record that stood almost 30 years. That was quite an accomplishment. That was one of the best seasons in, in California State history, really. Um, what do you think uh, you can attribute that, that success to, being able to make the leap to a, a star back to an elite back? Well, the first thing is I, gotta, uh, I appreciate the team. I can't do it out there by myself. I need a line, just the offense as a whole, and then the defense has to be there because the defense isn't playing good. We're not going to be on the field too too much. Sure. And got to thank the coaching. Coaches really helped me out. Parents supported me a lot, and just I got a lot of help from everybody. We had a lot of impressive offers. Um, you ended up choosing Cal over USC and Notre Dame. What did you like about those schools, and what ended up? putting Cal over the top for you? Uh, when I went down to USC, it was great. I, I loved the coaches down there. They were cool. Everything was cool. But when I sat down and I thought about all the schools I had to choose from, I just couldn't leave the Bay Area. I just felt like this is home, and I just didn't want to leave. So tell me about your relationship with Cal running backs coach Ron Gould and also uh, Cal head coach Jeff Tedford. Uh, well, coach, Gould, coach Gould is fun. I love talking to him. Me and him get along pretty good. I'm looking forward to working with him in the future. And same with Coach Stafford. Great. What do you consider your strengths as a running back? You you obviously didn't get all those yards by running around the edge and running away from people. You can see from your highlights that you, you run well between the tackles, too. You break tackles, and you're elusive. What would you consider your strengths of your game? I think my main strength is obviously my speed. But uh, past that, I think my vision on the field. I can see a play develop, and I know where to look for a cutback and things like that. And uh, how would you consider your receiving skills? I think they're, they're up to par. <laughs> yeah. So you, you, you feel like you'll be able to bring a well-rounded offensive game to the next yeah. level then? Yeah. Right. And you're also an outstanding track athlete. You put together some of the best times in the country for a junior with a, a 21.03 in the 200 and a 10.39 in the 100. What are your goals for track this year? I just win. I want to win state this year. Yeah. Been there two times already. Came up short, and this year I just want to get it done. Well, don't sell yourself short because you did real well even with a, a, an injured foot last year. Yeah. You, you, is your, are your feet healthy this year? Yeah. Feet right. healthy. Everything's going pretty good right now. Great. And are you planning on running track for Cal this yes. next year? Yes. So have you had much contact with, with Chris Huffins and any uh, other yeah, coaches? I, call, I talked to him a couple of times. But nothing too serious. When I get down there, I really get to know him and stuff like that. Do you know if you'll focus on the 100 or 200 or relay? or Do you have any idea what your plans are? Uh, I have no idea. Okay. So how does it feel to be able to play close to home, to friends and family, but also be able to play for a highly ranked school, that both academically and athletically at the same time? It's great. It's the best of both worlds. you got one of the best schools in the world and then best, one of the best teams in the world. And my parents could come see me whenever they want. They could come to the games. And I can't remember the last time they missed a game that I played in since, like, third grade. They've been in every game. My dad even comes to some of the practices we have here. So it's good for them to be able to come down and see me. I hear a lot of good things about your parents. Um, what, what would you describe their role in, in your, uh, your development in athletics and as a person? They, them, if not anybody, I think they have the biggest role in my life. Uh, my career. That's great. Any final words for, for Bear fans? Go Bears. All right. <laughs>